Good afternoon. I think it's important that we take time today to reflect over our lives and think about all that God has brought us through and all that the Lord has done for us. I personally have a lot to be thankful to the Lord for, for what all he's brought me through. He brought me through four years of being abused by my dad, rescued me in a spectacular way by showing me a vision of what would have happened had I gone back. And he has been faithful to get me through all of my life to this far with all the, the anger and rebellion I dealt with as a teenager to all the bad decisions I made in my 20s and 30s all the way up to present day. You know, God has been faithful to use me and work through me since I've been 15 years old. Actually, if I think about it, long before then. I remember counseling my stepdad when I was five years old and speaking with godly wisdom even before I knew there was a Holy Spirit. Now, I was saved in a Bible school at a local church called Red Run Mennonite. <coughs> And I only knew the Ten Commandments and the basic tenements of accepting Christ as my Lord and Savior, but I didn't know about the Holy Spirit or any of the spiritual aspects of Christianity. It's only you accept Christ, you got your fire insurance, you keep the Ten Commandments, you're good to go, right? Well, it turns out there's more to it than that, but that's all I knew. But that gave me enough wisdom and enough common sense to avoid a lot of the pitfalls that people in my age were going through at that time. It kept me from drug addiction, from even wanting to try drugs, from alcoholism, and even wanting to try alcohol. You know, I didn't even have it. my first, I might have had my first drink at 21, but I really didn't drink drink until I was 30. And even then, I very rarely ever drink. Special occasions, if I'm ministering to someone and they want to have a beer with me, I'll have a beer with me, but I'll probably nurse the one the whole night. I'm not a big drinker. Yeah, I went through a phase where I probably went to parties and drank like other people did, but I was never drunk. Maybe we lit a few times, but I never had the desire to be drunk. So being born again at a very young age did keep me from a lot of things, which I am thankful for. And like I said, fill me with godly wisdom. God has been speaking to me my entire life, even before there knew there was a Holy Spirit or that it even was God. That said, I do remember counseling my stepdad at like 10, 11, what's, not 5, it was like 10 or 11, something like that. Because it was 11 when I moved in my dad's house, so I had to be like 10, somewhere around there. Anyway, so I do know God can work through children too. There is no baby Holy Spirit. That said, officially from 15 on, God's been speaking to through me and encouraging other people all along my life's way, despite my anger, my rebellion, my pharmaceutical attitude as a young adult, teenager and young adult, God has always been faithful to get me through every circumstance. And I know that he is faithful to get me and you, all of us, through every situation. Like I said, I was abused, called worthless, dumb and stupid and a piece of crap, all kinds of things by my dad. And friend of the family that we called, that we called her aunt. I won't say her name out of respect since she passed on since. However, God has always been faithful, whether through my grandmother or through other people he sent in my life, to tell me that those are lies and that God has a plan for my life and Jesus loves me. And he has got me through so many things. And I know that if you reflect back over your lives, there are many things that God has brought you through. And we should build those monuments, those pillars, like they did in the ancient times. So you can look back at those times and say, Hey, God brought me through this, 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 and this. He's going to bring me through this as well. It gives us hope for today and for the future to remember everything that God has brought us through. He has never left us, nor will he ever forsake us. And it, uh, we would all do well to remember that. It is important and imperative for us to remember those things that God has done through us and for us so that we can have hope and endure and endurance for the future so that we don't lose faith and we don't lose heart. Because yes, times are going to come and perilous times are going to come. The word declares that they're going to come and it said, Christ said himself, 
that in this world there would be trouble. There would be persecution. But to be of good cheer, he has overcome the world. And we remember that it is our faith that helps us overcome the world. And how do we have faith? We remember what God has brought us through. When we remember what God has brought us through, then we realize that everything's going to be okay. That despite the hardships we're going through now, God has, in fact, brought us through worse situations in our past. And if he was faithful then, and he was, he'll be faithful now and he'll be faithful in the future. He will never leave us nor forsake us. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. As is written, Jesus Christ is the same today, yesterday, today, and forever. He never changes. His promises are yea and amen. Or, as it would say in the Greek, Amen, Amen. Truly, truly, verily, verily, it is, it is. It is so. Amen doesn't mean let it be like some people translate it. It literally means it is so. It is the truth. When you're saying Amen, you're coming into agreement. You're saying it is so. I'm believing your word. It is the truth. And all through the scriptures, when Jesus said truly, truly, or verily, verily, the original Aramaic was saying, Amen, Amen. It was saying, it is so. It is fact. God is, it says in Revelations, Jesus said, thus says the Amen. The it is so. God, Christ took on that word as a title and a name for himself. The Amen. It is so. He is the way, the truth, and the life. He is the resurrection and life. They that believe in him, though they die, they shall live. And they that believe in him and live shall never die. Do you believe that? That is one of the few times Jesus looked directly at someone and said, Do you believe that? And if you believe that, then you have a hope, not only in this life, but in the life to come. That God is faithful to bring everything bring you through every circumstance in your life. Though you walk through the valley of the shadow of death, you will fear no evil, for he is with you. He is with me. He is with you. His promises are yea and amen. They don't change. He's not a, a human being that he lies. God cannot lie, and he cannot deny himself. What he has begun in you, he is faithful to finish. The good work he started in you, he is faithful to finish. So let's take time today and look back over our lives and remember everything God has brought us through and give thanks to God for the things he's brought us through and give thanks to the Lord for the good things he's done for us, is doing for us and will do for us. Most of all though, let us give thanks to God for being who he is, for being a loving, gracious, faithful father. That's my challenge to you and that's what the Spirit's saying to the churches today. Look back, give thanks to God for all that he's done for you and for who he is. You all have a magnificent day and may be greatly blessed. In Jesus' name, amen.